You may have heard that Mercury is retrograde again, but if you try to find out what that means, search results are dominated by astrologers who believe that Mercury can make you spill coffee on your favorite shirt or cause your car to break down. But if you set aside all of those creative interpretations, there's actually a real astronomical phenomenon underneath. So let's start with the basic layout of the solar system. The planets closest to the sun move faster and the outer planets move slower, but they all go in the same direction. Apparent retrograde motion is when the planets appear to temporarily change the direction of their orbit. They don't change direction, it just looks that way from Earth. It's an illusion that unfolds over a matter of weeks or months. In this image, Mars was photographed every five to seven days between October 2011 and July 2012. Once all the photos were combined by aligning the stars in the background, it appears as though Mars looped back on itself before continuing on its orbit. A retrograde illusion like this happens when we lap an outer planet like we do with Mars every two years, or when an inner planet laps Earth like Mercury does every four months or so. But for both Mercury and Venus, the illusion is hard to actually capture, since they're located on Earth's day side, not on our night side. When those planets are visible, it's only right around sunset and sunrise. But assuming you could see it, here's a diagram of how the Mercury retrograde illusion would work. This line shows our view of Mercury against the background stars. As Mercury passes us by, our line of sight shifts so that for about three weeks, Mercury will appear to loop back on itself when viewed from Earth. It's simply a function of two objects orbiting in the same direction at different speeds. If you stood on Mercury, you would see Earth make an apparent loop, too. I wanted to recreate this illusion on a tabletop, so I stuck a post-it note to the wall in the background to represent the fixed stars. I grabbed a ball of Play-Doh to be Mercury, and my phone camera represents Earth. I took 10 photos of them orbiting in the same direction with Mercury passing by Earth. If you simply view the images in sequence, you don't really see the loop. But remember that the illusion is relative to the background of fixed stars. So once you line up the images so that the post-it note star is fixed, the retrograde loop appears. Here's another visualization of the retrograde loop of Mars as Earth passes it. The bottom part shows the positions of the planets, and the top is the corresponding view of Mars from Earth. The key is to always remember that Earth is moving, too. So retrograde motion was baffling to early astronomers who thought that Earth was stationary and at the center of the solar system. In the second century, Ptolemy devised a complicated system of loops and orbits within orbits to account for the retrograde motion of planets. That model was accepted for 1,500 years because it seemed to fit the observations even though it was completely wrong. Once Copernicus showed that all the planets, including Earth, move around the sun, then retrograde motion was easily explained as an illusion. So if there's any life lessons to learn from Mercury retrograde, it's that we may be vulnerable to illusions when we think that everything revolves around us. It's really frustrating how misleading the scale is on every illustration of the solar system, so I feel compelled to point out that the real distance between Earth and Mercury, when those planets are closest together, is more than 6,000 times the diameter of Earth. 